the largest competitor in the history of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yoko. Yokozuna is a multiple-time WWE Champion in 1993, the winner of the Royal Rumble match. You would be hard-pressed to find anyone as truly unstoppable as Yokozuna. A very focused look on the face of Yokozuna right now, who no doubt is ready for battle. I suggest Yoko's opponent take heed of the ominous warning, Bonsai. the Mastodon and his opponent from the Rocky Mountains weighing in at 450 pounds the man they call Vader you are looking at one of the most athletically gifted big men in the history of this business an all-american college football standout spent time playing professional football the Mastodon possesses the size of a lineman with the speed and agility of a running back. Yeah, and he'll throw you around like he's the quarterback. What a dominant specimen this man Vader truly is. A Mastodon's on the loose, about to trample over everyone in WWE. My advice for any Vader opponent, run. And here is a superstar who is unquestionably one of the greatest big men in the history of WWE, Yokozuna. Not a lot to say about Yokozuna that hasn't already been said. One of the most versatile heavyweights in the history of our business. A man who knows how to balance size and agility. Well, I completely agree. And underestimating Yokozuna's athleticism would be a huge mistake. And then we have Vader, one of the most ruthless big men we've ever seen here in WWE. Vader uses his bone-crushing strength to completely debilitate his opponents and shows them absolutely no mercy while doing it. You gotta appreciate the simplicity of Vader's approach. It's not pretty to look at, but it is undeniably effective. There's not much room out there. Just a continuous rush on Yokozuna here. Vader is now fully in control. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Into the corner now. Things went from bad to worse. Perched on the top rope, looking to inflict even more damage. Oh my God, not from up there. What on earth? Oh my God. 